Greetings, my delicious lights. It's Lena here, and guess where I am? I am at the Perth airport right now. I'm going back to Adelaide, the place I'd never thought I'd go again, but I'm going because I have to see my family, and it's my sister's birthday. She's turning 18, so I can't miss it. No, no, and I haven't uh, seen my family in like three months, especially since my car accident. So I'm, I'm a little bit scared because like, I haven't seen my, my family in three months and it's like, I gotta walk back into the past. <laughs> like I left to get away from my family to be free. And now I have to face that. I have to face that I also lost my ex. I'm not with my ex anymore. I came here with him just to lose him in the process and now I'm leaving. <laughs> And it's like I'm sitting here by myself and I'm questioning myself and I'm like, man, like, why am I, why am I leaving? Why? Why am I leaving Perth? Why am I going back to Adelaide? It seems like I have to go back and reread some chapters that I, I guess I lost. Not lost, but I lived and now I have to go back and live in them and reflect. So yeah, I'm going back to Adelaide and it's really scary because I feel, it's really nerve wracking. I'm at the airport and the thing I'm thinking about most is my ex and how he's not here and how I wish he was here with me, but he's not here. And I'm like, well now I'm doing it on my own. So I guess it is what it is. Like I got to face the life I had before this and kind of realize how far I've come. So I'm pretty much going back to Adelaide to reflect and my flight is at 17.55 and the day the day I'm catching my flight is on the 9-11, like the day 9-11 happened. Is that not crazy? <laughs> is that not a, and my flight's at 5.55 p.m. Is that not a sign? Tell me that's not a sign. Tell me that's not the universe giving me signs. But yeah, I'm just sitting here and I feel so lonely and I'm like, I just have one bag. Like, this is all I have. I nearly, I nearly went over it, but I was lucky. I was at six kilos for my bag. I was worried I was gonna go over. I was gonna bring my boxing gloves with me, but I didn't bring them. I'm glad I didn't because they would have gone over. So I just bought my wraps. Um, cause when, I, um, when I'm training Muay Thai, I have to wrap my, um, my hands up. So I guess everything works out for a reason. Like I'm really happy that I'm here. Like I wouldn't be doing any of this right now if I didn't go through that breakup with him. Do you know what I mean? And I feel like as well, I'm not afraid to kind of just pull out my camera and talk to an audience and showcase my life because my life's crazy and chaotic. And for 19, there's so much that's happened to me. And it's like, why not share it with the world? Why not share my life with the world? Um, I want to see the world and yeah, I think it would be awesome. I'm so tired. I'm literally on like four hours of sleep. I had to work last night at the nightclub and they put me on the bar. It was freaking awesome. Like I got tipped 50 bucks, tipped 50 bucks for serving because I made like the custom of the Patreons, Patreons laugh. Like I served these guys drinks and I over, <laughs> I over poured their, their um, Jaeger bomb shots and they laughed and I kind of had a little chat with them and they tipped me like 30 bucks and this other guy came in. I, I served him before for bottle service. He's like a boxer. And he was kind of the reason that motivated me to kind of leave my relationship because when I was doing bottle service, I was he was talking to me and telling me about his life and I connected with him really deeply. He was telling me how he does ice baths and this and this and his training and stuff. And I was like, man, I'm missing out on this. Like there's a whole nother world out here and I'm worried about rebuilding someone and trying to make someone like it's like focus on yourself like it made me realize that my ex is not the only person out there like there's a whole world outside of me that I'm ready to experience and I feel like being here in Adelaide is gonna make me or being in Perth and being at the airport is gonna make me realize like kind of how much I want to travel and spend time at the airport and just fly because I'm so afraid of driving right now because of my accident and I was worried as well because I'm going back and I was like, do I need to write an apology letter to my ex? But it's like, why? For what? It didn't end well. For what? It's done. It's dusted. Um, but yeah, so I'm, that's pretty much where I'm at right now. But yeah, work was awesome last night. I, I like was speeding through like bartending and everything like I was like oh my god didn't think I'd enjoy this this much like I was turning around and I'd pour my drinks I'd be like it was sick like 
I honestly feel like I love bartending at the nightclub. Like you got the music playing and you're serving people. I'm like, my plan is to pretty much kind of travel using that experience bartending. Like, yeah. And then I had this guy like hit on me and ask for my number and I'm like, yeah, I'm not looking for love right now. And then some other guy hit, it, hit on me like at the club and I was like, yeah, I'm not looking for love right now because I just got out of a relationship. I'm not gonna go and like find someone else or like try and I guess yeah I don't know I hope this all works out I feel like it is for my highest and greatest good but I want to show the world why if you, if you follow what you want to do and you listen to yourself then you can do whatever you want in life like you just gotta face your fears like right now I'm facing my fears I'm facing my trauma I'm going back home to my family I haven't seen them in three months and the whole point of me leaving was to leave them, to leave all that trauma, to leave my broken family so that I could be free at 19. Because I was like, nah, F this. I am not gonna do my cabinet making job and stay there as an apprentice for four years. I'm literally wearing my um, my cabinet, my cabinet. When I was in trade, these were my boots and everyone I'd work with would call me Pinky because I would wear all pink as a cabinet maker. I miss working in trade, but it was like, I didn't want to stay working there for four years, so I left. But I wear these, I wear, I'm wearing these now because it represents my strength and how strong I am. And that's kind of why I got this tattoo because it represents my strength to, to do anything. And I can do anything. I've faced so much. I don't need a man in my life to show me that. Like, my ex couldn't show me that. I've done this all on my own. I caught a flight to Perth on my own from Geraldton. I left Malawa all on my own. I didn't need the help of my ex. I didn't need the help of anyone, just myself. I've been living in Perth on my own, renting and paying for everything myself. And everyone has been telling me that I can't do it and doubting me and saying she'll learn the hard way. Look where I am now. And I get paid next week and I'm working, I have two jobs, I'm working casually and I get paid so well just for bartending and I have all this time to work on myself during the day and train Muay Thai and when I go back to Adelaide I'm going to continue to train because I feel like in my past relationship I kind of reflected that that's what I wanted to do I kind of motivated him to be a fighter but now I look at it and I'm like wait I think I want to be a fighter I want to train in the ring like I've started training Muay Thai and it's, it's helped me like so much. Like I'm, I would not be able to live in Perth or function properly if I wasn't training Muay Thai. Literally Muay Thai has helped me so much. And in November I'm going to Thailand. I'm so excited to vlog that and show you guys that there is a beautiful world out there if you just take the risk and leave any toxic situation. I've left everything toxic friends, family, my environment, my own state. I left somewhere I lived for 19 years, 18 years of my life. With my ex, it didn't work out. The universe just kept showing me it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be, and look where I am now. And now I'm going back to Adelaide to kind of mostly heal and to see my family and reconnect and kind of heal the family lineage. lineage? Not that, just kind of heal my trauma and I'm hoping I can fix my relationship with my parents. Especially my dad. I haven't spoken to my dad in six months. So that's going to be really hard to face. I haven't spoken to my brother and sister in like six months in person. It's like now i got to go back and face that. that like, And then I'm like, okay, it's fine. Like, Just face it. Face, face your family and just you're coming back to Perth. You live in Perth now. You're fine. It's just going to be really hard facing my mum and my dad. It's like I left them because I wasn't happy because I put myself first and I didn't want to live a life that I hated and I'm like sitting here and I'm like dreading I'm dreading catching that plane <laughs> I am dreading getting on that plane because I have to face my family I haven't seen them in three months since my accident and it's like well I'm alive I survived for a reason like last night I was questioning myself and I always question myself because I'm alone but I mean that's how you grow you grow when you're on your own so I couldn't yeah, always put yourself first and you're never alone in your own life. Like, Go and enjoy your life and take risks and take that leap of faith. I was looking at my tarot cards today and the full card kept popping up. It kept reminding me of my ex and it is, the full card isn't a bad card. The full card is about taking a leap of faith 
knowing that you don't know what lies ahead, whether it's good or bad, it could completely change your life for the best. So that's the advice I recommend for you guys. But um, I'm gonna stop it there. And um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys when I'm back in Adelaide, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's kind of my story right now and where I'm at. So I hope my flight goes well. <laughs> I hope the universe protects me. So um, I will see you later, my delicious lights and namaste.